Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be working in my paper bag journal that I made. Um, I decided to do some Hollywood quotes in this journal and I thought that would be so fun. Some of my favorite movies I have different quotes throughout the movies and um, I don't think it matters if we do one a couple of times or you just have a favorite movie that you do a whole bunch in. But I thought it would be really fun to pick some quotes on different movies. Um, and today's movie was Wizard of Oz. Um, I kind of made a wonky painting here, looked at it afterwards. I was like, a little wonky, but hey, it was fun. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's for me. Um, so if you guys don't mind the wonkiness, then I don't mind it. And I'm just going to have fun with it. So here I'm sketching just my shoes for Dorothy's shoes and her legs. And I realized that I totally did a wonky job of it afterwards, but... I was just so excited to get started that I didn't fix bother to fix it up afterwards and I just continued and had fun with it. I didn't want to sweat it. I wanted to enjoy myself and just put my quote down and I know I had fun and I enjoyed making it. So that's all that matters. So if you guys want to join along with me and find some Hollywood quotes or fun parts of the movies that you want to add to your journals, come and join me and show me on my Facebook wall if you'd like to share that with me because I would like to see what you guys are working on. I also have a group with Nikki Parr International Crafters. If you want to join that group, just uh, go in there, answer the questions, and we'll gladly have um, happy crafters in there. Or just share on my Facebook wall. Thanks, friends. And I'm just going to let you guys watch this for a bit. Um, at this point here, all I'm doing is just sewing my base coat. So now that I have the base coat on, I'm just starting with my shoes. I'm using the lipstick red. These paints are from Deco Art. And um, at this point of the story that I have this quote, um, the quote will be, You had the power all along, my dear, from Glinda the Good Witch. And the this is at the end of all the trials and everything that's happened to Dorothy and her friends. And she's back talking to the Good Witch. And just before she snapped her heels together and wished herself home, this is that part. And um, I thought, well, this is kind of cute. I did do a yellow background behind her legs and shoes. And then I decided to add uh, some green back there, too, for grass and some poppies in the background. Just for a little flavor, little things that happened in the, the movie. Um, but like I said, this was just kind of playing around. And... I knew what I wanted to do and I kind of did a wonky job of it, but I had so much fun that I just left it anyway. Here I'm adding a little sprinkles. These are glitter, like red glitter, really old, actually red glitter that I got given to me. And I'm just putting a little glue on there, a little glitter. I do add more glitter as I go on. So next are her shoes. I'm using this true blue and I mix it with white to get a lighter blue here and then I just use more, adding more blue to get the, the shading of the darker parts of her socks and then also a little, maybe, maybe a little more white to lighten up the highlights of her socks and just kind of playing back and forth so that's just fun playing like that. And I also do her dress in a little bit of a darker blue too and I just add a little blue and white. And then I just use my brush and make it almost look like a little checkered dress, like a farmer dress like she has. Um, it just appears that way. It's not perfect. Like I said, this was a kind of a wonky painting, but it was just for fun. 
and I just kind of give it a look the illusion that it was a checkered dress um, because I wasn't trying for perfection I was just giving the illusion that this is what this page was about and I'm having so much fun with it Now I was just working on her legs and that was a coca and the white and it's a color from Deco Art. Um, and then I go back to her dress and I'm doing that pattern I was talking to you about. Um, just making it the illusion that was checker. This part did take a little while but was so much fun and I just wanted that illusion when you first look at it that it looked like checker type of farm dress and it really worked well for me. Now I think you guys have guessed what I'm making now. This is at the point where Glinda, the good witch, puts the magic on her shoes and um, allows her to go home, I think it was, just telling her, to pointing at her shoes saying you had it all along, just snap your heels together and you can go home. Here I'm using these Posca pens, they've got a very th thin nib. They were gifted to me by Denise and I have to say thank you so very much Denise for gifting me all these Posca pens. She gifted me three different sizes, in black and white, and I'm so happy to have them. And you guys will see me using them quite often. Um, so here is the black one, I had to get it started, and then the white one I used as well. So I'm kind of playing with this still, like I said. Um, just not used to the product so it was a little like I said a little wonky but I so had fun with it so I had to go over it a little bit because I made too much of a black line but hey it's all playing around and learning how to use things I'm continuing shading and going in with my background and I like to play with it for a bit try to figure out what I like and I fix it all up at the end and um, 
add a little bit of a background grass and, and some poppies and that kind of thing because it's something that's really neat in the movie that I really like. The poppy scene was one of my favorites as well. Now at this point I'm using a recycled piece of um, paper from the library. It's one of those due date uh, papers and then I decided to make my quote. I was going to use the whole paper. It's such a small quote um, so I just used a little piece of it, cut it up and actually glue it with a backing of um, cardstock, add my sprinkles on it, my sparkle glitter so then it was because it was the words of Glinda and I thought that would be, make it more magical and that was it my friends I really enjoyed this project it like I said it was one of those wonky ones but it was so whimsical and fun that I didn't mind I just played with it and, and it made me smile made me think about the movie and that I think is what the whole point is so what I do is I just use my um, Elmer's glue stick that on there I put Elmer's glue on top add my sprinkles and there we go um, at the end of it I sealed this with um, acrylic sealer and I used gloss on top of uh, Dorothy's um, picture there and that is that. I hope you guys enjoy this and uh, give me uh, a comment below and tell me what you think and uh, yeah hope you guys join along. Thanks everyone for watching. Bye bye.